With the Olympics close um, now, it's training's obviously picking up and getting quite tough now. Um, the routine would be training twice a day for six days a week with one rest day, um, with long walks up to about 25k, um, and then a couple of tempo sessions and speed sessions within that as well. Um, obviously, facilities are fantastic here with the track just on the on doorstep, um, and I've got a great training group here as well. I can't actually believe that it will be my second Olympics, which is a fantastic thing in itself. Um, four years ago, I didn't really expect to make the team, whereas this time I was expecting to be in it. Um, it was a fantastic experience in Beijing, being around all the different athletes from all over the country, um, all different events, and then being in the athletes' village as well. It's just something you can't prepare for or even imagine. And I think London is just going to be overwhelming to be in a home country. I had the honour to carry the Olympic torch uh, in Potter Newton in Leeds and wow what an experience that was. The adrenaline rush was, was different compared to a race. Uh, I was so nervous. It was uh, quite unbelievable and when, when, when the next person came up to give me the flame and I set off it was, it was electrifying. There was, the crowds were really out on a lovely summer's afternoon so it was perfect and great honour and made up for missing the Olympic Games I think a little bit. Of the athletes that we've seen today, uh, I guess they have the endurance uh, of, of a marathon run. They're probably a very similar athlete to someone who runs the 10,000 metres in the marathon. But what they do technically is, is very different. And, um, you know, that sort of distinguishes them in terms of what they do in competition. Training-wise, it's probably actually quite similar because they're endurance events. Uh, Jan and Tom that you've spoken to um, race 20 kilometres and that takes... Uh, to Tom an hour and 24 just over uh, and Joe ran about one hour and 30 minutes so you know, we can see there it's a, it's a long distance event um, but it's the fastest athlete that wins so uh, you know we're, we're really interested in then sort of building sort of stamina onto that endurance with lots of speed work they need to be really strong so we do lots of conditioning training as well so there's sort of quite a few things go into the mix um, if you actually want to race these events rather than just kind of get around them. I've, I've worked with Joe through the whole of the Olympic cycle, um, you know, so to reach this, you know, this, this point in, in such a special Olympic Games because it's here in the UK, um, you know, it'll be a highlight, certainly the coaching highlight of, of my career thus far, uh, to have worked with somebody who, you know, for Joe it's not about making the team, it's about being as competitive as possible and, and challenging, um, you know, the top end of the race. So, you know, that is yeah it's just so exciting um and it's you know it's just a real privilege to work with yeah with with an athlete who is that good it's going to be amazing to be competing on the mall in front of buckingham palace and have everyone there watching it's a free event as well so everyone can come along and see the walks which is fantastic for our event to put it on a showpiece really um to have my family and friends come out it's just going to be totally overwhelming something i've never experienced before